So let's take a look at a particular example of this. Maybe get rid of the R because we are effectively taking the square root of the error, the mean square error minimization, or the total squared error, since we're not dividing by the number of ratings either. Let's say we have just two movies, A, B, and we just have one user, one. So this is a ridiculously small example. In fact, it's so small that uh, um, we have uh, more parameters than we have data points. We have three parameters, B, A, and B, B, for the bias terms of the two movies, and B, 1, which is bias term of, the fir of this single user here. We have three parameters, and we have two uh, known ratings from the ground truth, R1A and R1B. And what is our minimization problem? It is looking at the square of the difference between the prediction and the uh, ground truth. Since we're taking the square, it doesn't matter which way we write out the difference. Let's say we write out R hat minus R. That is B1 plus BA plus R bar. Okay, this is our uh, prediction, r hat of 1a minus the actual 1a. This thing squared plus the other error, which is 1a b1 plus b b plus the average r bar minus the actual 1b rating squared. So this is the r1b hat minus R1B. This is the R1 A hat minus the actual R1A. Okay, we take the sum of the squares of the differences and that is the objective function. We want to minimize this objective function subject to no constraints over the three optimization variables, namely our three model parameters B A, B B, B1. So our question is, is this an easy optimization or not? It's clearly not linear, but it is an unconstrained quadratic minimization over the variables. It turns out it is a very easy problem.